Hi guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have the June update for the Fifty Shades of Pink Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was started by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. Of course, they will all be linked down below, as well as a list of everybody else who is doing this project. If you guys missed my introduction where I showed all 50 products that I'll be working on, I will put it down below in the description box, as well as up in the iCards here. Um, I'll have the playlist there so that you can see not only my introduction, but you can see last month's video video as well. So as this project denotes, there are 50 items in here. It can be makeup, skincare, hair care, whatever you'd like, so long as there is pink packaging, pink the product itself is pink or it has pink in the name, you can put it in this project. It did start on April 15th of this year and it will go through April 15th of next year. So you do have a full year to work on this. Still not too late if you guys want to join in. It is open to anybody who would like to join. Now I do have multiples of some items in this project. I do have multiple lotions, body washes, etc. And so I obviously have not gotten to all of the all 50 of the products. So I'm only going to be updating you guys on the items that I have used or have progress on. So last month I did have one empty and this month I do have four empties. I did do a pretty even split among my products. I have 25 items that are skincare and 25 makeup items. So let me go ahead and get started with the skincare items. The first item I have is this Bath and Body Works uh, the shower gel. This is in the um, scent Sweet Pea. Of course, it was brand new up here, last update here, and now I am down to here. I did use this one an additional 31 times, so I've used this a total of 54 times so far, and based on the usage, this will be gone by next month. The next item I have is an empty. This is the Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea Triple Moisture Body Cream. I was able to use this one a total of 18 times, and this one is completely gone. And I have another body cream that is empty. This is a Japanese cherry blossom one from Bath & Body Works and I use this one a total of 20 times. So these two are my oldest lotions in my collection. I'm happy to use them and have them as both as empties because um, they were starting to separate and anyway, glad I used them before they completely went bad. So those are my two empties that I have out of the um, body care section. I have used, I pulled out this um, lotion that I'm using next. Again, this is a Sweet Pea lotion from Bath & Body Works. And I am down to here. Of course, it was brand new when I rolled this into the project. And I have used this one so far a total of six times. I have mixed some highlighter in there. It's kind of stuck around the edges. But I do enjoy putting highlighters in with my lotion. And I think this one will be gone by next month as well. The next item I have is this Trader Joe's Grapefruit Ginger Sugar Scrub. I love using this on my feet. Um, when I rolled it into the project, it was used. It was right here last update, and now I am down to here, and I have used this an additional 18 times, so 27 times total for this so far in the project. Oh. Sorry, just knocked a few things over. I had to go uh, pick those up. So the next item that I have in here is this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This was brand new at the, uh, uh, the beginning. It was right to here, last update here, and now I am down to here. I did use this one an additional 33 times, so I've used it 43 times total. This originally, I was just using this in the morning because I was working on another toner at night. That one is gone. So I think next month you can expect twice as much use because I will only be using this toner both uh, morning and night. So this one should go um, a lot faster now that that other one is gone. And for the next item, I have this Drunk Elephant TLC TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This is it right here. I did use this one an additional 31 times, so I've used this a total of 52 times so far in this project, and it still feels just as full. This packaging is really heavy. I didn't weigh any of these when I first began, so I don't have weights to give you, but this does still feel pretty full. There's only a half an ounce or 15 mils in here, um, so there's not a lot of product, but we'll see. I think it's gonna probably take another couple months to get through this. Next on my list, I have this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Last month, it, I was to here, and now I am all the way down to here. I think this will be gone within the next 
five, 10 uses max. And I have used this one an additional 33 times. So, so far I've used this 74 times. So I'm really enjoying this one. Um, but again, I think this will be another empty for next month. The next item on my list is this Hemp's Get Baked Frosted Sugar Cookie. This is a body moisturizer, but I'm only going to be using it on my hands this uh, for this project. This It says it smells like sugar cookies, and I could smell it the first time I put it on for a split second. And then all I can smell is the smell of Vegas. It smells amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Vegas or if you've ever walked through the Excalibur, but it smells exactly like the Excalibur. And that's where I like to stay when I go to Vegas. Um, so every time I wear this, it makes me think of Vegas and I really miss it. I love going out there um, because that is where my son and his girlfriend and my grandbaby live. And so I really miss them. I haven't seen them since Christmas, obviously, since we haven't been traveling. I would love to go see them again. So every time I wear this lotion, it makes me miss them terribly. So I have used this an additional 12 times. It was full all the way to the tippy top and it is all the way down to here so far with just 12 uses. The next item I have is this OPI nail lacquer and this is in the color Susie Nails New Orleans. Just this little guy right here. It was here when I rolled it in the project. I used it once and it came down to here. In this past month, I've used it an additional six times, so it's all the way down here. I have used up two others like this. It has about 10 uses in here, so I think I have about three uses left of this, and then this will be an empty. My goal is to finish this one by the next update as well. Next, I have this Clarisonic Radiance Foaming Milk Cleanser. It was here when I rolled it in the project, and now it is down to here. I just started using this, so I've only had six uses on this, but I will be getting a lot more use out of this because I did just finish another cleanser, so I'm starting my, to work on this one. And the last item I have for the skincare items is this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. It was to here last time, and now I am down to here. I did use this an additional 30 times, so I've used this 52 times so far in this project. Now that I am done with all of the skincare, let's go ahead and get into the makeup items. The first item for that is this Morphe and Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist in Starberry is the scent. I used this one an additional 27 times. I've used it 51 times so far in this project, and I think I might have five more uses in this before this one is gone. It is extremely light. It's starting to um, spray out a little bit differently so I can tell that this is on its last leg and this is gonna be empty very, very soon. Next, I have my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in Rose. It was right here when I rolled it into the project. I did just use this, let's see, four times last um, for the last update, and now I've used it an additional 27 times. So I've gotten 31 uses on this so far, and we are down to here. I'm really enjoying this one, um, and it will be several more months before this one is completely done. I have been using this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is a smaller sample size. I've used this one 27 times. I had uh, six uses before, so I've got a total of 33 uses on this. It's gonna last about another month, and then I think I will be done with this one as well. For the next item, I have this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Mine is in 355 Vanilla. Not sure if you guys can see that. I have used this one a total of 27 times this past month, 37 times total. And I don't know if you can see the little windowing I kind of have going on right here. So I think it's up here. Um, somewhere right around in here. So um, I'm not really sure. It does kind of move around every time I get um, more product out of here, but that's about where I think I am so far. That one's gonna last several months. That has a lot of product in there. Next, I have this Maybelline. This is their Fit Me Blush in the shade Pink Rose. I have only used this one a total of three times total. So it's I'm not gonna put an updated picture up on the screen because it still looks absolutely brand new after only three uses. Um, I did just finish up another blush and a project I was working on, so now I'm turning my attention to this one. So hopefully by the next month, you should be able to see some progress on this one. Next, I have my uh, Wet n Wild. This is their highlighter in Blossom Glow. If you remember from the first update, I'll put a picture up here. I let you guys know that I did find a piece of plastic 
in my highlighting product it was something sticking out and I pulled it and of course it came out and it did leave kind of a deep hole in the product so I did hit pan in this really quickly. I did use this one an additional 27 times. And as you can see, I hit pan and then really expanded it. So I have used this a total of 49 times and it did only take me 34 uses to hit pan in here. And I do think that that is because of the fact that there was that piece of plastic in here and it did leave a pretty deep hole in the middle of this product. So I am enjoying wearing this. I am actually wearing it today as my highlighter. And I am amazed at how quickly I am making progress on this highlighter. Next, I have this Galactic. This is their Skin Glow Duo. Mine is in Moonlight. Each of these items I am counting as separate items has a cream highlighter and a cream blush in here. I will put a picture up of what it looked like last month. And I have used each of these an additional 29 times, so a total of 54 times. And this is what it is looking like now. Don't quite have pan yet in the blush, but I have major pan in this highlighter, and I'm thinking that this cream highlighter will be gone by the next update, which I'm really excited about because I do have two other cream highlighters in this project, so I'll be able to start working on those. Next, I'm using up my Stila Glitter and Glow in Tulip Twinkle. Let me give you guys a swatch of this. It is just beautiful. So this is what it looks like right here. It's this pink and it kind of has a gold shift to it. I've really been enjoying this. I used it an additional four times. So I've used it eight times total. And with the windowing, I believe it's about down to here. I'm not sure if you can, oh, there you go. You can kind of see some of the windows in the product right there, but I think it's about down to here. So this one has, you know, a lot more to go in it and I'm hoping to use this up before it completely dries out. Next, I have to flip the page. I do have my last two empties. This one is the Sugar Rose uh, Lip, what is it called? Tinted Lip Treatment from Fresh. I will put pictures up here on the screen. Um, I did talk about this in my empties. This thing has such a low melting point that oftentimes the, the uh, tip would slide off of it. And I didn't, you know, I did use it all up. And then it broke very close down to the bottom. I did use this an additional 44 times and it is completely empty. As you can see, it's rolled all the way up and I did dig a lot of that out. I did get a total of 70 uses out of this, but I would I would not buy this. It's um, Obviously it's not cruelty free, but um, I, I love it the way it feels on the lips, but the way it's put together, like I said, it just constantly breaks on me. And for that, I didn't really enjoy wearing this. The next empty is my Morphe Lip Topper in the shade Jinx. This is it right here. I did use this a total of 41 times. I took the stopper out and hopefully you guys can see that that is completely empty. You can see how clear the packaging is. I did really enjoy using this and I'm happy to have another Morphe Lip Topper out of my collection. I have so many of them. I don't remember when I bought all of them, but I've got a lot of them and I still have more to work through. I did use this uh, NARS uh, lip gloss in the shade Orgasm, only used it once, so there's not really any progress to show you there. I have been working on this B Bella Cosmetics Lip Perfection Pencil in the shade Obsessed. All of the writing is coming off of it, so it's hard to read. This is what it looks like right here. Let me give you a swatch. So this is it right here. I am not really enjoying this for a couple of reasons. One, this is pretty much like the shade of my lips. Um, and so it's really hard to show up, which is not this pencil's fault or, you know, B. Bella's Cosmetics fault, um, that it just happens to be my lip tone. I did get this in the makeup class that I did attended, so I didn't get to pick out the color. Um, but it does barely show up on my lips. The other thing is the wood that it is made out of, if you can see that right there. You can use it twice before you're down to the part where the wood drags across your lips and it hurts. So you're constantly having to sharpen this, which means I have been going through it pretty quickly. Um, but I'm not enjoying the pencil form of this at all. So I do have that progress on my paper right here. This is where I was when I started, and here I am right here. I did have 41 uses, so this is how much I have left. Yeah. Kind of show you the whole length of the paper, but I do have a lot of progress on this because I do have to keep sharpening it so often um, 
or else it just hurts my lips. So I will be happy when this one is gone. This is the only pencil I have from this company and um, I wouldn't buy this again even if they were cruelty free, which they're not. Next I have my EOS Lip Balm um, and I did use this one 25 times. It's hard to show progress on this guy, such an oddball shape, but I did try to uh, capture that on a piece of paper right here. This is where I started and this is where I am after 25 uses and it will go down to the edge of the page. So that is my update so far for this project. Um, I do have a lot of products that I haven't even touched, which is good because I still have 10 more months to keep working on these and I do want this project to try to last the full length of the year um, and not finish everything in six months like I've done in my Beauty A to Z project pan. So um, I am enjoying working on all these products and I'm happy that I did do a nice mix of skincare and makeup. So that is my update for this video. If you guys enjoy these types of projects, you enjoy project panning, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video, and thank you guys so much for stopping by.